This video is about imputation. Um, I want to show you how to, let's say, simplify your model. You see, there are, this is the model um, that we are, have been using um, since the beginning of this course. And um, this is the CFA model, measurement model. We already um, improved the model by covariating some of the error terms, removing, removing uh, weak items. And um, let's say the model fit is good. We already uh, you already have watched the CFA video. Um, reliability, reliability, validity, everything is good. Now, um, we, I, I, I have shown you how to uh, develop your SEM model using the CFA model that you had here, right? You see, you you remember that you took this model to the next stage and then you draw this right you draw this so all you see all the covariances are still there the items you removed have been removed from the SCM model but this model is too big and um, even in this model we don't have many mediation moderation and uh, I consider this as not very uh, complex not very complicated model so um, you may have a bigger model with more variables more items and then it will be a bit difficult to uh, use the model. Um, so what I want to show you is how to, let's say, uh, um, simplify the model using the imputation method of AMOS. So after you passed, um, after you assess the measurement model, you, you perform the CFA test, you check the model feed, improve the model feed, you remove the weak items, tested reliability and validity, means after you did all things that you need to do in the CFS, CFA stage, then I suggest you do this. Let me see if the, yep, it's linked to the data file and yep, here we don't need this, okay. Okay, what you need to do is you go, so we already got all results for CFA and this is the model we want to t take it to uh, SEM. We want to construct our SEM model using this CFA model. But before that, I want to do something. I go to plugins, uh, sorry, I go to <laughs> analyze and then data imputation. So click on data imputation. And by default, I always go for uh, regression imputation. And here, You can see two columns. One is workshop clean data. This is the name of the data file you have linked to this model. And there is complete data file here, uh, data files here, workshop clean data underline C. So what does it mean? This means now if I, and you, where is it? If you um, click here, you see that it's in, yeah, it has been saved here. Um, so, what is this file? Okay. What is this? This means the software, if I click on impute, okay, if I, and I already got the results here, sincere, okay, workshop clean data, okay. So, this means that the software already computed the latent variable score for all these latent variables. This means that in the there is now the software has created a new. Uh, okay, let me close this. Yep, the software has created a new data file, which is exactly like the previous data file with all columns that you had but there are some new columns already added i will show you later and the new columns have been named exactly like the latent variable names you already have given to these latent constructs so the name of the new columns will be the latent variable names and they will be appear in the file as new columns at the end of the data file so what are these new columns maybe i can show it to you now Workshop clean data underline C. So the only dif so the, the 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 difference between the name of the file and the original data file is it has added underline C to the 
name of the original data file so the name so there will be a new file created where is it it is saved usually next to the original file but you can get the file but here as you can see it's different because i saved all models everything in another folder so how to find it already gave me the address the location so i you go to the place that it has been saved you see there is a file with the name uh, exactly like the previous the original data file and then underline C now you open the data file you see that there are new columns added to the original data file yeah yeah in my original data file I didn't have these variables I didn't have these variables. I didn't have any variable named attitude. I just had the questions for attitude, the value for the questions for attitude, right? One to six. I didn't have any column named intention. I just had um, five or six, yeah, six uh, columns, six variables named intention one to six, which are the variables I use, the items I used um, to measure intention. So if I scroll to the right, you see, yeah, these are the new columns so this is just a case number so these are the new columns so these new columns just were added so what are these new columns attitude is representing yeah attitude is representing uh, all the, the value for all these items and with their factor loadings so now you can replace the whole construct and the items with just one observed variable called attitude this is called latent variable scores so latent variable scores of all these latent constructs have been computed based on the cfa model so if you draw the same the sem model using these observed variables without drawing all these items latent constructs you will get the same results you should get almost the same results so when i want to go for sem i don't take this model with myself to sem anymore i just draw a new model say no okay a new model and let me just where is it interface properties i prefer landscape here yeah so what i do is i load the new file here under line c and list the variables name variable oh, how can i ah variables in the data set so these are the variables in the data file and i have loaded the new the new data file so these were not in there these were not in the data original data file they are in the new file so i just draw the model like this so no need to draw all those items anymore we already got the good model feed and computed the latent variable scores for these variables so now i draw the model exactly like the hypothesized model so i need to connect all these five independent variables to attitude and all to intention and attitude to intention and i add two error terms name on observed variables then i covariate these five because they are independent variables so plugins name draw co draw covariances okay great now maybe you want to make it more beautiful so i just go to plugins and i have too many things here resize of observe ob resize observe variables it will give you the same size for all of them and yep i got the i got the sem model I'm just trying to make it a bit more beautiful I may put this one here too so it's yeah so now you can test now you can test this model instead maybe I can maybe I can save as SEM imputed let's say okay so all are there very good and so this model the results you will get will be so this is SEM imputed yeah sorry 
and should be the same as this one, right? Um, it's easier to work with this, right? So let's say we want to, for example, test the mediation model. So very easy. You just click here. Okay, let's say I just want these three indirect and direct. I already showed you how to test the mediation using bootstrapping, right? So I set the parameters and then I run the model. Done. I got the red arrow. Using not too much, uh, too many items in the model, too many things in the model. And even the results are easier to read. So I go to matrices, total effects, and here is the same. You see the tables are not that big anymore. So for example, here I'm, let's say I want to check the indirect effects. Indirect effects, I go to p-value. So these are the p-values for the indirect effects, right? So the results will be, let's say, uh, similar to the results, let's say for standardized indirect effects, the results will be similar to what you should get from the model with all constructs. So it makes it easier to test your model, right? So uh, in the future videos, I will use the imputed, the, the, the model um, using the uh, imputed um, constructs, means I will I will use the values or the latent variable scores computed for each of the constructs and um, insert them in the model as a an, as an observed variable. So again, this is just to make model e model easier to use, right? So later for mediation, other mediation tests, moderation, this is easier to use.